William Archer, uh, a prisoner on St. Lena Island, um, was someone who worked in the tailor's shop alongside two warders, Warder Henry Dodd and Warder William Downey. That is probably one of the saddest stories. Henry just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. William Archer, he was a, a Scottish um, man, uh, a tailor, a clothes maker, and uh, he was back here for the second time in 1898. He was a, a bad-tempered Scotsman, but he was also uh, a victim of tuberculosis. William Archer was put in the tailor's shop to be working um, there because of his skills, but he insisted that he wanted to be moved out of there. He hated that. He got tuberculosis. So it's, it's a place that he doesn't want to work, and he repeatedly asks to be placed elsewhere, preferably outside in the open air. Nobody heard him, and it reached a real climax and at one point where they've fed, basically he's decided that if no one was going to listen to him, then they, he was going to get their attention one final way. On the last day on St Helena for William Archer, he goes to the hospital and he speaks to the doctor and he asks the doctor to recommend that he is taken out of the tailor shop and allowed to work outside. The doctor refuses. He slipped into the bootmaker's shop and he took a knife. He then made his way back into the tailor's shop and as he was passing by a warder, he took out the knife and stabbed that warder in the abdomen. Well, the warder was Warder Henry Dodd and he was a warder quite respected. He, by the time he realised he'd been stabbed, grabbed his abdomen and started to head straight downstairs. He needed to get to the hospital. He knew that straight away. So the doctor arranges for Henry Dodds to be on the boat with him, taken to Wynnum train station, and then taken to Brisbane Hospital. In the meantime, Downey had, William Downey, the warder, headed upstairs to the tailor's shop to see what had happened. And he happened to see William Archer up there. And as he approached William Archer, Archer angrily said to him, it was you that was actually the man I meant to get. It was you that I wanted. Downey kept approaching towards him. Archer said, stay away. Downey approached towards him. Archer threw something at him. He managed to get into the bootmaker's shop, grabbed some scissors, threw that at him. But Downey gets his man. He grabs Archer and other warders come and he's restrained. What neither of these men know is that the warder who's been stabbed in the stomach has made his way to the hospital. William Archer was brought over to Brisbane and he was going to have to face a charge of murder. The only prisoner on St Helena Island who was ever charged with murdering a warder. Henry Dodds, before he dies, is going to identify his killer. Archer stands in the room where Henry Dodds is and Dodds says, yes, this is the man who stabbed me. And then he becomes worse. They brought down his wife Elizabeth and they told her it was time that she said her goodbyes to her husband because they knew that he was dying. He turned to his wife and he said, um, you know, I've been stabbed and, you know, how am I? And she said, you're going to die. And with that he did. It was like she signed his death certificate before it happened. The warder who escorted Archer from the island reported at the court hearing that Archer expressed remorse. He was locked up at Brisbane prison, awaiting the trial and his time in front of the judge, but it never happened. Instead, he died of failure of the heart's action uh, in the cell in the Brisbane prison. Surely uh, exacerbated by his tuberculosis. Two victims of uh, a true story on St Helena, a warder, who is killed, a prisoner, who dies.